we enter into a normal day for our daring protagonist, Nick. A believer of the limit definition of a derivative, he is solving a problem given by his sensei, Sandoval. However, today a new student will show him a revolutionary technique that will change his world forever. Take the derivative of x squared plus 6x plus ha, 9. That's easy. So, we have x squared plus 6x plus 9. That's the function. Then we're going to set h to 0 limit. And then this. And that is the answer. 2x plus 6. There's an easier way. No way. Yes. This, is the, this is the way my family has done it for generations upon generations upon generations. This is the best way. Watch this. Okay, you have a function. Alright. Boy, what are you. What, what's the arrow for? Uh, what, what? No, no, you're cheating. No, no, that's way too easy. You got multiple of three right here, six, not, 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 again. Uh, 5x cubed plus 6x squared. Yeah, no, it's gonna take you forever. What, what, where, where did you, what? But then those are for my textbook. I got the same answer. <laughs> no. I challenge you. To a derivative ball. Let's go. Take this ball. This ball is filled with water. It has a radius of three inches. Find the rate of change of the volume when the water is pouring out at two inches per second. So, knowing that a volume of sphere is four thirds pi r cubed, and the units that Sandoval gave us earlier, I used my superior method of limit definition of a derivative to find 4 pi r squared, which I plugged back into the equation. Then using the variables, I found the answer is 72 pi inches cubed per second. What do you got? This is what I got. What? The same answer. No way. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, teach me! I Action. need to know how. So what I did is I used a power rule which is this. And what this stands for is, let's take an example, x squared. What you would do is you take the exponent, which is this, and you move it to the front, and you minus it by one. So your derivative would be 2x. Sh sh show me some more, that's easy. Give me an example. Uh, 243x squared. Now what we do is we move this to the front and we subtract this by one. So 2 times whatever this number is, is this. That's the derivative. What can we use this for? Everything. Is it much easier than limit definition? Definitely. Thank you, senpai. As Nick now knows, the power rule makes everything easier. Will Nick be able to use it correctly? Will he be dealt defeat at the hands of College Board? Find out next time on Calculus the Anime.